Good morning, so good to share the space with you again and today we are back in Charmaine's Lounge. So yesterday David spoke about the impact change has on us and the importance of letting go in order for the change to take place so that we can embark on our new future. Today, today I want to speak of the importance of prayer through change. Now there is one thing that we can be sure of in life and that is change. So to help us to understand how much we fight against change, let us look at some stats. So the diffusion of innovation theory suggests that less than 3% of people are innovators and less than 14% will be early adopters to, of these innovations. So everyone else, in other words, the 83% of us, will be somewhat slower to get on board with new ideas. If you think about it, you will agree. You might know of someone who will try the next new thing in a flash. And then there are those around us that still like doing the things the old way. This means that either the word change excites you or it makes you tremble with fear. It reminds me of the story of Moses when he went to tell the people what God wants to do and take them away from slavery. Their response in Exodus 6 verses 9 says it all. But they didn't listen to Moses because of their complete exhaustion and their hard labor. Often throughout their journey in the desert, they would grumble and refer to the time when they were in Egypt and things were like they were. Yet we listen to how God responds to his people when they were afraid of the unknown. And we hear that in Joshua 1 verses 9 with these encouraging words. Don't be alarmed or terrified, because the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So with change, trust is required, and a lot of it. Sometimes we are not the ones leading the change, and we need to trust those who will take us from here to there. We must ultimately trust that God is in control, even of those leaders, and hold all things together even if we feel or think things are falling apart or not going to work. Perhaps the, the thoughts are, am I going to like it? Am I going to cope? Psalm 139 starts off with these encouraging, beautiful words. Lord, you have examined me. You know me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. Even from afar, you comprehend my plans. You study my traveling and my resting. You are thoroughly familiar with all my ways. There isn't a word on my tongue, Lord, that you don't already know completely. You surround me, front and back. You put your hand on me. Now this is encouraging, and encouraging right to the core. Allow the words to sink in, and if you have time today, read the whole of the psalm, about two or three times, so that it can sink in. Change always requires wisdom, and of course, Proverbs is full of this. These are often words that have been passed down to us from our elders, or reading the scriptures um, ourselves, and in the Jewish culture, it is encouraged to share wisdom from one generation to another. Prayerfully, we can go through these words of wisdom. Perhaps change happened or is happening due to wrong choices, void of wisdom and trust in God, and these lessons can be shared too. In Proverbs 1 verse 7 warns, Wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. The New Living Translation puts it like this, Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. So when change is coming or inevitable or necessary, we must find wisdom in Christ and trust Him in our new journey, prayerfully going into this change. On that thought, one might be at a crossroad or wonder, where are we going? This reminds us of the journey that Jesus had with his disciples when he was preparing them for his departure. However, we also know how they struggled with understanding what exactly that meant. They could feel and they could see great changes were coming. And then one day, within hours of that conversation, Jesus was arrested, crucified and buried. We see that they had no control over this change. They could not decide if they want to be part of it or not. But they had to trust God and his infinite wisdom. 
Remember Thomas's words. Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Imagine their confusion. They had seen such great miracles just a couple of days ago where Lazarus was raised from the dead. People had shouted to Zanna just a few days ago. Now this drastic change. What were they to do? Well, they had to trust him and do what he said. Remember his teachings until it became clear. For Jesus, for the disciples and for us, sometimes the path forward from here to there is not easy. It is downright unpleasant, riddled with potholes and barriers and landmines. Was it worth it to Jesus? Jesus, Was it your life worth his death? Jesus said it is. Listen to these comforting words in John 14. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in the Lord and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. The Lord has got you in change. And all we need to do is to find peace in the change. Prayerfully come before him, sharing our hearts, our anxieties and what we feel so that he can meet us there. Now we all know that this is not always possible. It is not always buying a new lounge suite or a car. That's not what our change always looks like. Change often brings anxiety because one feels you are not entirely in control. Sometimes you're not in control at all. And because we cannot always see the future or choose it, one needs to sometimes let go of something to embrace something new and unknown. This could be hard, especially when grief is involved. Our memories will help us to move into the direction God has for us. So when we walk through change with Jesus, he leads you away from anxiety and into peace. Inexplicable peace. Not because the world around us is suddenly bathed in sunlight and blooming with daisies. No, it is because a peace comes from knowing the Spirit in you that has overcome the world. It is a peace that comes from knowing that your Savior is victorious over sin and death and your God is in control. Are you in a time of change? Does it excite you or is there a tad of anxiety? Is the change happening that you have no control over and you are learning to trust those who are leading? It doesn't matter what your change looks like. We need to trust God and seek his wisdom to guide us through it all, through prayerfully being with God, allowing his spirit to guide and lead us through these changes. Come, let us pray. Lord, help us to rejoice in the Lord always so that you may fill us with your joy. Help us to trust you and not worry about anything, but instead to pray about everything and to tell you what we need and to thank you for all you have done. I know that we will experience your peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. Your peace will guide our hearts and our minds as long as we live in you, Jesus. Help us to fix our thoughts on what is true, honorable, right, pure, loving and admirable. Help us to think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise and help us to put into practice all you have taught and and that which we have received from you so that we may find peace. In Jesus' name, amen. May this week be blessed and even if there are changes in your life, let us sit at the feet of Jesus praying and telling him all about it.